All right, what is going on guys? It is your boy Fly Stewie and today we are going over how to beat a Pokey team. As you can see here, we're playing a team that has a Pokey on the Aqua here. Pokey on the Aqua and notice the speeds are both 55 here. And we also have a Bug. Now remember, Pokey gains more attack damage right here. It gains an additional 10% damage for each allied bug and it already does 125 so it's a pretty scary card and especially scary when you have a double plant team so my scholar right here now or almost 3k mmr has the elijah bird in the back the mid plant with numbing 31 speed and the front plant here cattail slap pumpkin with terra chomp so let's see how he's able to play at this high mmr guys we got little softly in the building little softy says i watched four ads yeah twitch really packs it on there so the first thing that we notice here is right out the gate he's going for damage here and i think possibly one of the reasons he's going for damage is this guy can put up some shield but in round one, if he doesn't have his yeah. bait card, he's really not going to do that. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Goldilocks, yeah. thank you for joining the flight crew. Really appreciate it. So let's see what goes on here. And out the gate, one hit, two hits, and look at how much this prickling trap does. Absolutely incredible. 129. And remember, prickling trap is weak against bug types and it's still doing 130. What a great card. So notice what's very important here. The reason why he's doing hair first and peace second is this guy has this card here that stuns birds. It's very important to realize what cards your enemy has and be able to recognize the threat. Just a heads up play here. And 158 to bug types, your bug's really not surviving. Now this is a very interesting spot to be in. You're stunned here. Um, the thing that makes the Elijah Bird super powerful is, of course, Balloon Pop can put people to fear, which is amazing. However, you want to use your Balloon Pop to get the stun out here. So in this situation, it's very hard to know what to do, um, but we'll see what he does. I would say if you have a Cattail Slap, you're definitely using at this point because you know you're about to get Pocky back to the Shadow Realm. But realistically, in this situation, what you want to do is you're trying to put yourself in a situation where you can use Egg Bomb here and have your 1v1 be your plant versus aqua. Let's see how our scholar is able to do. So the first thing he does here, he uses the balloon to get free. And this guy, you're just sacrificing to the gods. Like there's nothing he can do to survive. <laughs> and notice the tail slap here. So in these situations, you know that you know the opponent's gonna have at least one energy left or none, but because he used tail slap, you know he's gonna at least have three energy left or four, right? So even if you weren't able to keep track of their energy, you know they're probably at three or four energy. It turns out at this stage of the game, he's going to be at four energy. Now the great thing about numbing is this guy is all melee cards, so right now. Um, Julius knows that he, our scholar knows he can actually take this person out immediately um yande in the building says early stream live how we doing james says i miss the live sir every day guys i wish i could stream every day that would be amazing so right now let's see what he does he has a lot of great options here um, but let's see what he decides to do having all the energy he does he just goes for the kill very smart this guy's wide open Another thing he could have done is he could have doubled up again, doubled here and then use another numbing, but I think getting rid of him is the right move here. And then here you probably, hmm. The scary thing about this situation is this guy does have Pocky, so he is kind of scary, but at the same time you have numbing, so in a situation like this, I wouldn't mind him just using Eggshell and letting him go one-on-one, -on -one. this guy go 1v1 on the Aqua, but this guy can take a bit of a hit early. And you're not really scared that he's going to kill you with four cards, so... I don't mind this. And he doesn't have Risky Fish, so he's really not going to be able to kill with four cards. And then once he hits him with Numbing, he can just pass the next round here. 
<laughs> but he has so much energy. He's like, why not just get rid of him? And it's gonna be an easy game. So realistically, what were the keys to winning here? It's really about knowing what your opponent's trying to do, knowing what type of build they are, and being able to recognize their weakness. If you notice Julius, as soon as he could, he got that bug out of the way because all of a sudden the Aquas were exposed and being able to numb the midliner gave him that advantage. So really being versatile enough to go against a multitude of builds and being able to outplay your opponent is what went him there. But if you like these series where I go over how to beat certain types like double pokey, double aquas, double plants, or the bird beast, let me know. It's your boy. It has been your boy, Fly Stewie. And guys, we need to take off. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to keep rocking on Twitch. And I will see you guys next time.